the voice talk your mind hello my people welcome to edo voice the place where your opinion matter 100 percent and you go talk your mind as in the hall don't forget my name na nusarex okuzua and i remain your humble gay etiosa idemidia edo first daughter <laughs> So today we will go back to the street. You know that we did do our time. Uh -huh. So more we call on Joy, may give us updates. Joy. Joy. How far now? So yeah, we're waiting your call. Hello and good day. I'm reporting live from the conference room at the Ministry of Education. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Pause for there. You know what? You know what? Something. It, it be like say Joy, they speak uh, Queen's English. It can't be like say they speak Queen's English. You know what? Even the Queen's English. Corporate clothes. You can't go with them. Since when? Joy, what did they happen? You want choke? What did they really do? go on? Anyway, like I said, I'm in the conference room of the Ministry of Education. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So maybe now because say na. Are they suspect? Education eh, matter. Education matter. They eh. suspect. More let her talk. More let her talk. It is true that the primary one to GSS three is now being referred to as basic one to nine, with the exclusion of the primary six entrance exam. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, say we have person know now they talk. Yes. Hello, what do you call be primary? You what know, do you call be basic? At our own time. Uh, uh, one primary, you reach one point, you will do primary six exam and the rest. <laughs> So, so be busy. They don't they change everything. No, I know that. Start of, <laughs> so they change your way. Do, do, do. Anyway, that's why we're here. Stand up, I do voice. Stand up, I do voice. That's why I like a do voice. Mm. What if they confuse you? We go talk up. Yes. What if they be like say they give you problem? We go still talk up. Today for this studio. Hey, hey go. They're the founder ah. of a lot of uh, educational upliftment things. The Buru Buru. And Chandra and Chandra and Chandra for education. Mm. She's there with us. No, sir, are you going to introduce her? Because I'm talking. Jealous me when no, I no, 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 no. That woman she been. I'm going to introduce her. Now you introduce all the men. Let me introduce this woman. After we introduce her, mm. we don't go come they speak pigeon. You know? Okay, based on saying. We go package. Okay, that's so true. So introduce her with better English. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, that's true. Education. Okay, education. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, my people. Um, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I've forgotten that we're talking about education. Yo. Right here in the studio with us, we have the Honorable Commissioner for Education, Dr. Juan Osa Oviawe. Hey, hey. Awesome. ladies and gentlemen. You're so welcome to Thank you so much, man. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate you for coming Your. to the studio. Uh, what did they happen now? Hmm? Wait in the shell. Why not they speak English to me? Ah, ah, no, 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 say, no, 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 say I be grassroots commissioner. Oh, okay. hey, make the is language of the people make I talk. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, because I wanted to go to another level. Commissioner said, no, come back to our visit. Yeah. People need to hear. Because for a dumb voice, we they talk to the high and the low. So make we for understand that. Ma, thank you, say we don't bring us back to our, our, our level for level. Yeah. <laughs> Too much when you make our time to bless us with your presence today. Yes, so. So as it affects education now, you know, with the years on kind things, on kind doings, a do best, a do best. Now we did the color. So uh, we won't make you you know, throw more light on what it be a best and how the thing take effect or should I say transform education in, in a state. state. Thank you, Rex and uh, Nosa, uh, uh, Tionsa for having me. Thank you. Uh, it's exciting to be here with you now today. Mona, not mind me on the amount I get to. I will speak some PG <laughs> and I will still speak English. <laughs> <later. laughs> uh, so, a do best. When Governor Baseki, uh became governor in 2016, November, in contrast, say education is very important. Mm -hmm. He even used the Ogbonge words, uh, what they call reenact. He said he won't reenact education for Edo, meaning that waiting they work before in the past, when Edo was like the bride of the whole country in terms of education. Plus, waiting we're supposed to do now, we will merge all of them together. And so in 2018, April, April 19, we can't start with him when they call Edo Best. At that time, Governor Baseki also talked and say, if he get 100 naira, he will spend 40 naira on basic education mm. because the foundation is key. And so that was how it came about Edo Best, which stands for Edo Basic Education Sector Transformation. In June 2021, 
Governor Baseki can launch what would they call Edo Best 2.0. Okay. Mm. So at bed 2.0 now go from nursery school all the way to university. Okay. Because it now includes various uh, levels of education, we not it not can get acronym again. You understand? Mm. So it's no longer a do basic education. It is just a do best 2.0. Mm. And that a do best now means that for every level of education, a do want to be number one. Wow. So it oh. is now an aspiration. As the Igbo people will talk, so we are aspiring to be best, whether in basic education, whether in secondary, whether in technical vocational education, whether it's in polytechnic, university, everything. Mm. Very, very. Wow. Do you know, wow. that is education hey. speaking. You know, she you don't know that's talk that's just, 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 just the not clear now. Nice one. So, nice as one. you take talk, um, you, you inspire me. Get one follow up question where I just want to throw. We're not today, you know, far from waiting, you talk. Mm. Um, this number one way you talk, if you mm. still throw more light, do you mean, say, in terms of the syllabus, in terms of results sending to parents, is it in terms of their uniform, in terms of what really can a state be number one compared to another state? Thank you, Etusa. I think for us, it's, we want to be number one in terms of the quality mm. of education when we provide. So this is the best way we talk now. We get five areas where we focus on. Okay. The number one are governance. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about governance, it's from the level of the ministry all the way to the school. So if I day be named, I need to make sure, say, for Ikakumo, for Akoko Edo, mm -hmm. the farthest end of Edo State, say, mm -hmm. waiting with they teach for Benin, then they teach there. Mm -hmm. So that means that we, we come focus on school leadership mm -hmm. to strengthen the capacity of our school leaders. Then there are other things, other governors, but I'll just run through them. The second one are teacher professional development. Okay. We want to make sure, say, all our teachers, they get the training, on-the-job training, so that they will be aware of latest ways of teaching. In fact, when we started um, training, retraining teachers in 2018, many of them gave testimonials, testimonials, say, some they had been in service for 20 years, Mm. 15 years, 25 years, they never go any training before. Mm. Wow. This was in 2018. So that has changed now. The third uh, area of Edo Best is um, learning for skills. We want to make sure that our goal right now for Edo State BC, by the time you're picking, they finish KG3, it goes Sabi Read. Mm. By the time when they come up from primary one, it goes Sabi Read and Write. Yeah. And those way they university, even if not degree they get for geography, they must understand geography. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, may, they must be able to have acquired the knowledge. Those way they polytechnic, if they, they elect, elect, they should be able to fix things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what the third pillar is about. Then the fourth pillar is about school environment. Mm -hmm. School environment is very important to Governor Baseki. When we came in, there were many schools where they dilapidated. We have over 1,400 uh, basic schools in Edo. We have done about 600. Oh, but it looks like say, we never do anything. And then we can't get uh, uh, 297 secondary schools. So there's a lot that we need to do. So mm -hmm. school environment is important to us. How to make sure, say, every child, when they, they, they won't make their come school every day. Then the fifth pillar, and then in addition to school environment, we are not only just looking at infrastructure. We are also looking at what you know, they call psychosocial support. Some children, they will need counseling, mm. especially for university. So if, 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 if somebody is not doing well, they say that they get suicidal thoughts, mm. we must have counselors in all our schools. Yes. And we've started that process. Where we do not have counselors, we now have what we call para counselors, people where we train on how to be able to do some counseling. Then finally, the fifth pillar in our values. Mm. Because at the end of the day, we want to say when a child is going to school in Edo State, regardless of the level of education, what are those Edo values where we want imbibing them? Because when we started in 2021, for secondary school, everything we would hear be say school not scam, school not scam. <laughs> you understand? Yes. And so we want we want to change the orientation of all our learners that 
school is not a, uh, is not a scam. Wow. Indeed. Wow. Not yet. Yeah. School not be scam school at all. School not be scam. Of... <laughs> nice school not be scam. If nice not be school, we for no day here. Uh, you don't understand. They talk with you know the commissioner commissioner of education. If not be school, she herself no go day here. Exactly. They give us words of. Wisdom. So if you know, say you get that thing for your hair, change your orientation now. School, no be scam. Yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I'm Jerry Berry from Edo Voice. Please, what's your name, sir? I'm Mr. Jaydi Robinson, the vice principal of this great institution. Okay, so this is a government facility, is it not? It is. I'm actually surprised to see how beautiful this place is. And I want to know, has it always been like this? No, it hasn't always been like this. But since the inception of the governor and uh, being a man who believes in infrastructure and welfare of workers, he has done so much on these buildings. You can see that the painting is even less than a month now. Wow. And I also observe that um, the teachers, they use tabs in teaching um, the pupils and also so some of the pupils with tabs as well. So what effects does this have on the education system here in Edo State? Good. The use of TAB is a new development in the system in Edo State. In fact, I think uh, if I can thank the commissioner for that, we are one of the first schools to benefit from this system. And um, Edo State is number one when it comes to digital education. And so we're giving this TAB and it comes with a lot of advantages. You don't have to use pen and paper to do your lesson notes anymore. And then the stress of even writing a lesson note is no longer there. You get your lesson materials online and you teach students online. Wow. You give them assignments online. They answer and they also send it to you. You also mark them online. So how would you describe the quality of education you get here at Edo College? We have improved since the last time we were in the school as a student without the reinforcement of the scripted lesson. By His Excellency, Governor of Edo State, the reinforcement has made the students have a better quality of education. How do you get taught here at Edo College? After the reinforcement of the scripted lesson, the government gave them tabs and they used to teach us. When using the tabs, the government sent scripted lesson, which are up to date in our syllabus. We write from the SS1, SS2, SS3, and it has helped us prepare for our jam Y Kaneko. So you're saying that this has made teaching easier and you're able to cover your syllabus? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much. What is the difference between the structure mm. of the primary one to six style where we we been they For, do? Where they continue to be and, and, and this basic one to, to nine, nine pattern. That's a good question, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So this one we would it where you ask me so now. Not be a do state government policy. Mm -hmm. Now federal government of Nigeria policy. Mm -hmm. And okay. this policy they about twenty five years old. Uh -huh. yes. do the basic. Yes. So even the federal government, where they bring the policy, they don't forget. So that tells you in Nigeria some of the problems where we they get between policy formulation and implementation. Mm. So when we start a do, when we start a do best, because luckily for us, we get governor where they read. Mm. Governor Baseki, they read where well, where. Well. So governor Baseki comes, okay, I'm going to bring all on our policy, bring everything. He comes, okay, what is this disarticulation? So federal government, they call out disarticulation. So what did this mean, we say, at some point in the late uh, 90s, they can or oh, early 2000, uh, they call a NAT, what they call the Universal Basic Education Act. So with Universal Basic Education Act, it now meant that the first nine years of schooling is free and compulsory. Mm. So that's nine years of basic education. It's free and compulsory. Then later, when they changed the Nigerian national policy on education, I think that was 1990, 2014, I'm not so sure. They can't say it, they, we must also now have one year of compulsory pre-primary education. So that means a child is supposed to start school at the age of five, 
and then graduate at the age of 15. So when you don't finish GSS theory, at that time, you can read and write well. You have the skills where it will make you take, live a good life. Whether you want to continue with education or, or you want to just start your own, go learn trade. Do you mm. understand? Yeah. So what was not happening, even with this federal government law, was that we still not had primary six exam. So you had a situation where uh, children, they finish primary six. Some not the gold GSS one. And by law, that meant that they don't have basic education. Okay. Because basic education is supposed to end at basic nine, which is formerly GSS3. Okay. So when we came in, we saw this, uh, what you put the call anomaly. We had to fix it. And the reason we even called make us Zwam was that sometime last year, I, I said, they bring our, what do they call um, examination data. We call notice, say, for primary six exam, over 90,000 pupils, they write up, both public and private schools. Mm. By the time we get to GSS3 exam that same year, the number don't drop to like 65,000. Uh, By the time we get to SS3, three. it don't further drop to about 40 something thousand. Mm. So between primary six and, and SS3, almost more than 50%, we don't know, so we don't know where they are. Yes. You know, some may have gone to other states or whatever, but there was a, a huge dropout, whatever ratio. Mm. So we're not looking at what could be some of those factors. We now looked at in primary school, we have over 1,000 primary schools, only about uh, 297 junior secondary school. So how do we expect children in over 1,000 primary schools to fit into 297? Mm. So by the structure of separating primary school from GSS, mm. we, were, we were limiting access to basic education. Mm. Okay. So we had to now quickly start implementing what, again, the federal government policy, all of this is tied under what they call disarticulation. Not the article, mm. <laughs> but this articulation <laughs> yeah. policy. And so we, it's a matter of um, ensuring access to the you know, majority of our um, learners in Edo State. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. It's that we will give her, we will give her shaka, shaka shaka for this matter. Yes, so. Maybe we shaka like yes, her. Mali, this one are personal for you. <laughs> Please. Make sure your children get good education because now them be the leaders of tomorrow. Yes, so. Uh -huh. So as we don't talk our rich now, we do want just go throw small, more good jollificate with our honorable commissioner. Will they come back? And the voice, talk your mind. Uh, my name is uh, Justice uh, Aiwe, the executive principal of Edo College. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir, we understand that Edo College is a one-stream school. How is Edo College managing with this recent policy of disarticulation, sir? Well, government policies are uh, usually done in good faith. No, there, have, there could have been some, some assessments and evaluation in the education sector. Um, most times, government does things for the good of that particular sector. So for Edo College, uh, it's been a little bit of a challenge, but we just put on our taking cap, and we are going around it. Uh, Edo College, you know, like you actually mentioned earlier, it's a one-stream school where it runs from GSS1 to SS3. With this disarticulation policy, it's going to be a senior school, SS1 to SS3. So, you must understand that Edo College is also a full-fledged boarding school. All students are boarded. Invariably, there's going to be a shift in the number of students in the school. So, but our plans is that we're going to increase our intake into the senior secondary school, and that will complement the shortfall of the Roma of the junior secondary school. So with that, we should be able to tag along. Okay, sir. So this means that you would no longer, which is Edo College now, will no longer accept students from GSS1 to GSS3. Obviously, that's what the policy dictates. Um, the policy actually is a federal government policy that has to do with uh, the enactment of a law that has been going on at the federal level. 
Some people will argue the federal government have not started, but in those states, it's not, it's not uh, going to wait for the federal government to make a good policy functional. So invariably, the government of Edo State, uh, led by uh, our visionary governor, have decided to take the bull by the horn by implementing the policy in the best interest of the education sector. Hello, good day. Good day, ma'am. Okay, so I want to ask you, I'm sure you are aware that um, primary six exams, um, the certification has been removed and it's now basic one to nine. So what do you think about that? Uh, for me, it's not nice because um, the, uh, their common entrance is seen as a build up for their first stage, for the first stage of their lives. And also, um, they removing common entrance with make the students feel lazy, um, not expecting an exam after going up through the classes and it's somehow to me. It's actually a good uh, progress and um, it's been done in other countries. So I'm very excited that uh, we're having it here and um, our governor being the first to initiate this is applauding and um, it's a right step in the right direction and I hope the implementation will be smooth. Um, it's a good policy in place and I really am looking forward to having my children having the certification in basic requirements. So it's not going to be primary six anymore, it's going to be basic certificate. I think that's it's a very good uh, initiative. <laughs> we don't come back. Okay, yes, we don't come back, but we got to go. Commission are they very busy. My people, if we know we here, we go pull her out. We are not go believe. We say, madam, we not go waste your time. Everything where she don't tell us now for us now to act and say, okay, madam, thank you for coming. Uh -huh. So, madam, once again, we say thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. No, so another time we we'll go call you. Hope say so you go stay at Sarah. So, don't worry. Uh -huh. Anytime. Uh -huh. call me. So, my <laughs> people, don't forget. I am go call the cutting. My name is Sirimen no Sarex And I still remain your humble girl. It's inside Idemudia. A dolphin's daughter. Stop him now. Everything you want to do for Do you try to be a jealous man? Let me say, may you not be a dolphin's son. Madam, please, can you just say bye? Like, bye. Say bye. <laughs> say, bye. Say, say, bye. <laughs> Commissioner, bye. Classy, bye. Talk your own. They criticize me. Bye. <laughs> All your mind was slack. <laughs> <laughs>